Welcome to a little bit a lot. Today I'm working on the garage door openers. I have one that is broken. The good thing is I know how to fix it. The bad thing is it takes a little bit of time to do. If you have a screw drive garage door opener, just like I do over here, the LiftMaster, then you're going to need this part eventually, I think. And what it is, is this sprocket, sprocket coupling, and it looks just like this. This is it right here. You can tell. Basically what happens is when you push the button to make that garage go up or down, it rotates the motor. And then to be able to actually bring up the garage door itself, the rail is attached to it. And the, the only part that's attaching the two, which is kind of crazy, is this little rubber part right here. And so let me show you what it looks like up there so you have a better idea how to fix it. You see that trolley? The trolley has to be on either this side or the other side. And how you get that to one side or the other is literally just pushing it this way or other way. And you can tell by moving it and slow mo up. It is moving towards me right now. And so when I push the button, I can tell whether or not the motor itself is rotating this way or this way. And by doing that, I can tell whether or not I need to be up or down. Or I can just push the garage door until it gets to the same spot I need it to be. So let me get this all the way up towards me. And then we can go from there. If you can see that right there, this is the motor side, this is the garage door side, the rail here, and you can see that there is basically no coupler right there. And what you're going to do is place this in between. So the other one popped off and broke off and I've thrown it away since. So you're going to have to loosen this bolt right here, this bolt right here. It enables you to slide this back that you're able to fit this between the two. I gotta do is slide these bolts back in just like so tighten it up I got the sprocket in now it looks good so when the motor rotates it rotates this which brings up the trolley back and forth I'm gonna put these two bolts back in and then we're gonna test it out now if you remember I had to use that trolley and move it all the way to the top here and so I disconnected my rail trolley here and all I gotta do is push it together let it click just like so. So this right here, this is how you uh, unclick it and click it. Everything seems to be working. Let's try it out, baby. If you're having a problem with your garage door opener and it is a screw drive garage door opener, make sure you check out that sprocket coupling. $6.85 on Amazon. Not hard to find, not hard to fix. This is another DIY brought to you by a little by a lot. I'll see you on the next one.